Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different from my usual videos. Uh, so I have a friend in San Francisco who started his own hot sauce company and he has been kind enough and generous enough to send me a review sample. So his company name is called Saucy Riot and I'm going to link his company website uh, in the description below. But um, yeah, this is his, uh, his new hot sauce company called Saucy Riot. Uh, and I'm just gonna read off the description to you guys. Um, this hot sauce comes in three different um, potencies, I guess, uh, three different levels of hotness. Uh, so they have the regular hot, this one is the middle of the road hot AF, and then he has a stupid hot as well, which I guess is some kind of an insane suicide level of hotness. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to try out his hot sauce and uh, see what it tastes like. Um, the ingredients, he apparently has organic peach, mango, uh, garlic Dijon mustard, that's a nice ad, uh, sea salt, olive oil, white vinegar, and uh, he says exclusive farm grown Carolina Reapers and ghost peppers. I don't know, maybe he knows uh, that breeder in Carolina who actually grows the Carolina Reapers. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Um, as we all know, Carolina Reapers are one of the hottest peppers in the world. I think 1.5 million Scoville units or something like that. Uh, it's the hottest pepper that's currently in the hot sauce, I think. Uh, there is another hotter pepper that the same breeder actually made, which is Pepper X, but I'm not sure if it, that actually made it into any um, hot sauces yet. So yeah, we're going to try this. This is probably going to be the hottest out of these three. So I'm just going to do a comparison of these three and um, tell you guys how hot it is, right? Because I like my food spicy as well. Um, so I got three hot sauces here. These two are pretty well known, I think, to most Americans. So this is actually, I'm going to start out with the mildest and go to, uh, go to my friend's hot sauce last because I have a feeling this is going to be the hottest out of these three. Uh, so yeah, I like Cholula. This is probably my favorite hot sauce uh, in general because it's just, it's a very, um, it's a mild sauce. It's not very hot, uh, but it's, it's very flavorful, right? It's very flavorful and it adds just a, a nice kick to a lot of dishes without, um, what I like about it is that it doesn't add the vinegary taste like t Tabasco does. I don't like Tabasco because it adds that vinegary taste and it's, just a little bit spicier than Frank's Red Hot, and I, I like Frank's Red Hot as well. But I think Cholula has more flavor than that. So I think this is just, all in general, my favorite hot sauce because it's just so good on so many things, and it just adds a little bit of a kick. Uh, it's not that spicy, but it's very flavorful. That's why I like it the most. And I believe this is made, this comes from Mexico. Uh, it's made with Arbol and Piquin peppers, so it's not the usual KM peppers or uh, not like Tabasco peppers or um, the other hab habanero or whatever you don't see uh, or jalapenos right you don't see uh, those in here is uh, using some um, peppers that are not commonly used in a hot sauce but I like it a lot so we're gonna start with this one um, I don't have any foods actually because I'm not sure what kind of foods you guys are gonna use to put this hot sauce on so I'm just gonna I'm just <laughs> gonna taste it straight out of the bottle that's right because um, uh, because, you know, I'm a man. <laughs> no, I can handle it, right? Uh, I like spicy foods a lot. I'll probably have indigestion later, but, you know, that's that's the kind of things I do for YouTube, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to try out this hot sauce first. I'm just going to get a spoon here. And like I said, straight from the bottle is going to be the best way because um, that way there's not tainted. Uh, there's no... Um, because it's going to depend on what food you eat it with, right? But I just want to taste the actual hot sauce by itself, right? Without any um, influence from the foods that uh, that's going to be used on. So I'm just going to tell you guys straight up all these hot sauces and uh, just what they taste like by themselves, okay? So this is Cholula. This is the mildest uh, hot sauce out of these three and my favorite, like I said. So I'm just going to pour a dab right here. All right, and I'll give you guys my reaction, right, as I taste it. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever, yeah, usually use these on, on foods, right? So this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be tasting these hot sauces by themselves. Okay, so this should be fun. All right. Yeah, so 
like I said, Cholula not that spicy, right? Um, there's just a little bit of a spicy kick, a little bit of vinegar, but not that much. It's definitely not like uh, Tabasco. Tabasco is so vinegary. This one just a little bit, but it has a lot of flavor to it, which is what I like. You can taste the flavor of the peppers, um, which is not is not just hot. Okay, it's uh, it, you can taste the peppers in this sauce, which is great, right? So. Just like I mentioned, uh, Cholula is a great all-around hot sauce. I love it. It's my favorite. It's got a little bit of a spicy kick. It's not. It's not that spicy. It's actually fairly mild, and um, but it's it's got enough, you know, to give a little bit of heat, uh, and it's also really really flavorful. So I like it. All right. Next up, we have uh, the sriracha. So sriracha should be pretty well known to a lot of people. Um, this hot sauce came from Southeast Asia and now it originally was only in Asian restaurants but now everyone's using it in like a lot of different foods so again it's not that spicy I think it's a little bit hotter than Cholula is but it's not gonna be super hot or anything it's just gonna give you like a little spicy kick but just like Cholula I think this has its own unique flavor to it so I'm gonna try Sriracha this is the um, this is the most well-known version right Hoi Fong, the one which started it all. So I'm gonna do a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna. Right. So we don't have any Cholula remaining here. I just wanna taste the Suasha here. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's put a little bit on here. So uh, yeah, straight out of the bottle. <laughs> but this way I can taste, I can tell you guys best what it tastes like, right? Without the influence of any other food, just what the hot sauce tastes like, okay? Okay. So the interesting, th interesting thing about Sriracha, I actually don't think it's spicier than Cholula. I actually don't think they're very different in spiciness. I think they're roughly about equal, actually. Yeah, I think they're roughly about equal. I think this one has more of a spicy aftertaste. The Cholula, you feel the spiciness, the kick, as soon as you taste it. The Sriracha, it's like, once you taste it, you feel the, the chili taste, but then the after, I guess the aftertaste um, is a little bit more spicy, if that makes sense. So. The Cholula is like, once you taste it, it's spicy, and then a little bit vinegary, it goes away. This one, I don't even feel any vinegar. I don't think there's any vinegar in here, actually. No, there's no vinegar. So, Sriracha is kind of unique in that it doesn't have any vinegar. Uh, so, uh, there's no vinegar taste to this one. Uh, it's just pure chili taste, and then in the uh, after you... It, there's no actually initial spiciness when I taste it, but it's just a little bit of after taste. Wait, the aftertaste is more spicy. So that's what's interesting, okay. So it lingers in your mouth for a little bit longer than Cholula, is what I want to say. But not too much. Like I said, it's not too spicy, it's just the right amount of kick for most people. So that's why I think for most people, Cholula and Sriracha are both really good options because it's not too spicy, it gives you just a, uh, the right amount of kick, I think, to add a little bit of flavor to your food. And that's it. Um, yeah, like I said, the main, the main difference, there's vinegar in this one, no vinegar here. This one, you you get hit immediately with the spicy taste. This one, um, after you you taste it, then you feel a little bit spiciness lingering, right? So I guess there's a difference there. All right, so now we come to my friend's hot sauce, the Saucy Riot Hot AF, which is his middle of the middle of the road option. And uh, we're gonna see how spicy this one is. Ooh, this is gonna hurt me, okay? Because uh, I think there's, either Carolina Reapers or Ghost Peppers in this one um, and I'm definitely gonna hurt myself <laughs> but it's all for the YouTube right alright let's do it now I want to give my friend a good review a good honest review as well so yeah so this bottle is four ounces um, and you can buy it on its website for 25 bucks each uh, which is a little bit expensive but uh, we'll see if it's worth it or not okay so I want to give my friend an honest review of his hot sauce all right we're just gonna put a little bit here. All right, I don't wanna put too much because <laughs> this one's gonna have a lot more heat level than the other two. 
Oh wait. So here we go. Saucy Riot, Hot AF. Okay, I definitely taste the, um, the peach and the mango. I should think this one's mango. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now I feel it. Alright, so, uh... <laughs> okay, yeah, this one you definitely need some water to wash this down with. Oh my god, okay. This one's definitely hotter than the other two, and, um... I think, much like the Sriracha, it's like, once you taste it, there's no... There's not much immediate spiciness. What I like about it is, once you taste it, you can taste the mango or the, the peach, and then the spiciness comes in the aftertaste. So now I feel the hot sauce, the hotness lingering in my mouth, and it's been lingering for quite some time. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need some water for this one. <laughs> and this is not as hottest. His hottest is the stupid hot, which, um, Oh, I'm gonna need some water soon. Alright, this is not his hottest, um, but it's his middle of his road. I wonder what his regular hot tastes like actually, but um, oh my god. <sighs> yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, so, so when you taste this one on your food, um, you get that fruity taste, but it's the aftertaste. It's like, after a few seconds, it just. You just feel it in your mouth. <laughs> you just feel it in your mouth and your throat and oh my god. Yeah, this one's definitely the hottest out of the three. Um, I'm gonna say that this one uh, is not for most people because it's it's pretty spicy. <laughs> um, I think if you like, I don't know, hot ones, you know that TV show? If you like any of their, their uh, hot sauces, then probably you could try this one or Dave's Insanity Sauces, or that level of hot sauce. I think this belongs in that category. Um, I don't know if it's the hottest sauce I ever tasted, because I, I usually don't go for those kind of insanity sauces, but I can definitely tell you it's pretty dang hot. And, uh, oh, it's the aftertaste. It just lingers in your mouth. <laughs> um, okay. okay, I think it's better now. Um, yeah, I think for like <laughs> a few minutes afterwards, that was just a small dab, okay? Just a small dab, but uh, like I said, um, it's got some flavor to it, so you can definitely taste the, the fruity flavors when you first uh, eat it, but then the, the hotness, it lingers in your mouth for like minutes afterwards. So it's definitely, um, this one's definitely the one to pick if you like spicy. Uh, I don't recommend anyone, everyone get it. I think for most people, these two would be the best because they just add a small amount of kick, good amount of flavor. This one, like I said, it's not just hot. Um, what I like about it is you, you do get some flavor out of it, right? So um, props to my friend. I think this is a good hot sauce for people who, are, who like those extreme hot sauces. So I think people who like those extreme hot sauces, I think this is a good one. Uh, it's, it's got some initial flavor to it, you know, it's not just heat, which is which is good. It's got some initial flavor, you can taste the, the fruity flavor of the mango and the peach, uh, and then it's got that lingering spiciness that uh, hot heads are looking for, right? So yeah, this is a good one. I think this is good. Um, again, I, I think it's a little bit expensive, 25 bucks per bottle is... I'm not sure about that. Uh, <laughs> but it's not bad, it's pretty good. So. Uh, I think this is a, it is a good one for people who like uh, these kind of hotter sauces, right, I would say. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks Nobu, my friend, for setting in this review sample for me to try out. Uh, so I'm going to link his website in the description below. It's called the Saucy Riot. Uh, he has three different levels of hotness. This is the middle one, Hot AF. So um, I don't know, maybe next time I'll try the Stupid Hot. But, you know, I'll probably give myself burning indigestion afterwards. Probably more than today. <laughs> so, uh, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this uh, review. Yeah, I'm going to ask my friend to see if there's a... I know he's, he's hand-making these, right, in his kitchen. 
so I understand why he has to charge a lot for them, but um, not sure if he's gonna get a, a huge market with 25 bucks a bottle. But you know, I think maybe a 20 bucks or something like that would be fine. Yeah. So um, I mean, he is handcrafting these in his kitchen after all, right? You know, I understand why they're kind of boutique uh, creations, and that's why he doesn't even have like a professional label for this, right? It's just a uh, a tape because <laughs> he's a single man operation, but. Anyways, pretty good hot sauce. Pretty good hot sauce. Uh, props to my friend. I'll link the uh, website below. This is the Saucy Riot hot sauce uh, compared to the Cholula Sriracha. Again, completely different scale. This is not even habanero. This is a Carolina Reaper ghost pepper. So it's in a completely different level <laughs> and playing field from these sauces right here. So yeah, I'm going to say that the, the markets for these two are different. Uh, but if you want to try something um, really hot and... Uh, something new, something refreshing, then yeah, I recommend this one because it does have some flavor to it, unlike some of the other extremely hot, hot sauces, which are just like pure hotness, right? This one does have some flavor, which is good. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave me comments in the co comments below. Uh, if you have any questions to ask my friend, you can also um, let me know, and I can contact him directly and uh, get them over for you. And uh, that's it, guys. <sighs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm really going to need some water. <laughs> Oh my god, um, I'm going to need some water fast, and uh, my stomach is not going to be having a good time tonight. <laughs> oh my god, you, you guys better appreciate this, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going to have a good time tonight.